Why? You ask me why a new deformer, a new additive? Well, there are good reasons. The technical demands of the protective coating market challenging us for new solutions. And sustainability and regulatory issues is pushing us for new solutions. And all these demands are combined in a new product, which is called BYK 1765. And BYK 1765 is focusing especially on epoxy formulations and on epoxy formulations and also on epoxy formulations. Yeah, right. It's a specially designed deformer only for epoxy formulations. Let me show you three examples how this product is working in case of appearance, the deforming activity, and also the positive impact on the functionality of your coating system just by using BYK 1765. Fact is, not all deformers work and fit in the same formulation as other ones do. Some of them are quite nice, doing quite good performance maybe, but in many cases they are not efficient enough, especially if we talk about epoxy. If we talk about high solid epoxy, if we talk about high ultrasol epoxy or solvent-free epoxies in a high viscosity, which are applied in thick coatings, then we need something different. On the other side, deformers are quite important because they have a direct impact on the appearance of our coating systems, right? This is what you normally see at first, what you evaluate at first, the gloss values, the haze values, or the leveling properties of such a coating. And as you know, there are always possibilities to improve. Using more and more solvent in a coating system, or even here in this epoxy coating systems, will it make more easier for the deforming process? There is no doubt. Because with more solvents, you reduce your viscosity and you increase the deforming properties of your coating system. But regulatory wise, this is not a perfect way. Regulatory wise, we should use less and less solvents in our coating systems. And if we use less and less solvents, we are coming to a critical deforming area, an area where standard additives are not good enough to deform these high viscous, ultra high solid, high solid and solvent free coating systems, epoxies which are applied in a high thickness. Let me introduce to you the new deformer BYK 1765. It's a well-balanced deformer, balanced in case of efficiency and regulatory issues. It's a product which is 100% free of solvent, 100% free of silicone, and 100% free of PFAS. It's a three-time 100% free deformer, absolutely perfect for your new developments in your epoxy systems. Let me introduce to you some technical details about this deformer. How to test a deformer? There are different kinds of methods, and maybe each company has their own one. I will show you two. To test a deformer, we need at first foam. We need foam in the formulation. So to incorporate foam in the formulation, we are using a high-speed mixing process. And then we apply the air polluted coating system on a foil like you see here on the video. In this case, we can directly see the forming action of the deformer. We can also see the speed of the deformer and we get the first impression about the appearance of the final coating. This is the method one. The method two means we take the high air polluted formulation and we apply it on a panel. And then after curing, we cut the panel with a cross section cut. And take a microscope to look inside of the film, inside of the film. We want to know how much bubbles are left in the coating system. Because these 
entrapped air bubbles have a negative impact, have a negative impact on the corrosion resistant, have a negative impact on humidity resistant, and have a negative impact on the functionality of the coat. In one case, we are observing the appearance, and on the other case, we are looking more for the functionality of the coating system. Here you see the pour out test, and I enlarge the pictures a bit so you can have a better look on the imperfections of the surface. Of course, the control is full of pinholes and bubbles. There is no doubt about it. Using the deformer, like a polymeric deformer, we see already a small improvement. Interesting is that even a very efficient and strong silicone deformer is not efficient enough for these high viscous epoxy systems. Except BYK 1765. You see almost no imperfection. It's a perfect product against micro and macro foam. And of course, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about it because this deformer is especially designed for epoxy systems. On the other hand, the product is perfectly designed also to deform the full range of high solid, ultra high solid and solvent free epoxy systems. One or the other product of the standard additives may have a certain good result in one of the other epoxy systems, but only BYK 1765 is able to be strong as a deformer in all epoxy systems. You can say BYK 1765 is a one fit all deformer for epoxy systems, high efficient in high solid and solvent free epoxy systems. Now we see the surface. We are looking on the surface, which we observe first if we look on surfaces. We can see easily how BYK 1765 has a positive impact on the appearance of coatings. We see lower haze, we see much higher gloss, and we see also a much better leveling of the coating system. Yeah, a much better leveling. To be honest, in the past, I never discussed the leveling properties of primer surfaces with, with my customers. It was not a topic. But nowadays, it becomes more and more important. You know why? Because the leveling properties of the primer surface of the epoxy primer will have a direct impact on the appearance of the top coat means as better the leveling properties of the epoxy primer, as better is the appearance and the leveling of the top coat. That's one reason, to get the best optical appearance. This was the appearance story, and we have seen the deforming process, but there's another important point, the second point, the deoration process. Deoration means we want to see how much air is left in the coating system. And here you see these cross-cut sections with a microscope on top. And you can see the bubbles inside of the coating. It's quite important. It's quite important because each bubble is a weak point. Each bubble is a weak point for corrosion, a weak point for humidity resistant, a weak point for the functionality. Even you can improve already the inside bubbles by using the polymeric deformer and also the silicone deformer, but only BYK 1765 is able to get rid of all the foam in the entire coating. It's squeezing out all the air out of the film. And this is a big advantage of this product. Efficient deforming in the entire coating system. And this will result in the end, this product will result also in much better functionalities, like here the salt spray test. Of course, it's not a corrosion inhibitor, of course not. But no silicone, no PFAS, and a totally different polymer will help us also to improve the adhesion of the coating after the salt spray test, the corrosion resistant test. And then you may think, oh, there's not a big difference, but if you look closely, 
with BYK 1765, you improve here the system by more than 50%. It's 50% better than the control or even than the best silicone deformer we used here. 50% improvement of adhesion. And not only the adhesion here to the substrate, also the adhesion between the epoxy primer and the polyurethane top coat, the intercoat adhesion can be improved. As you see here, we used here the pull-off test. And you see here the differences. And if you compare BYK, BYK 1765 with the best, almost best deformer, not the best one, but a good deformer like the silicone deformer, there's a big gap in between. And this gap is 30%. The adhesion property of BYK 1765 in the epoxy primer will help to improve the intercoat adhesion more than 30%. More than 30%. You get an excellent intercoat adhesion because it's silicone free and PFAS free, fluorine free. Ladies and gentlemen, we started our story here with a critical deforming area. And I mentioned it's a critical deforming area because we are talking about epoxy systems. We are talking about high solid, solvent free epoxy systems. We are talking about ultra high solid epoxy systems. We are talking about high viscosities and we are talking about systems which are applied in a high thickness. That's not easy for standard deformers. And that's the reason why we developed a new product called BYK 1765. And how is this product working? Look very closely what happened in this critical deforming area. You've got a perfect deforming, a perfect deforming. That's the product we were looking for. BYK 1765 is a really balanced deformer, balanced in appearance, balanced in the functionality. It's a product especially designed for epoxy systems, and as I mentioned, for epoxy systems and also for epoxy systems. And it's a product which helps us to improve the functionality, adhesion, corrosion resistance, humidity resistance. It's a product to improve the appearance of your epoxy primer or your flooring systems. Higher gloss, better leveling. And it's a product which is fulfilling the regulatory demands of today. 100% solvent free, 100% silicone free, and 100% PFAS free. And by the way, it's also an easy to incorporate product. You may know a strong silicone deformer or a strong deformer at all needs also a strong incorporation into the formulation, high speed mixing process. BYK 1765, you just stir it in and let the deformer do its work. Airbrushing, rolling, airless spraying, efficiency. Functionality, regulatory clean. If you combine all these demands, then you have BYK 1765. Or say it in easy words, in only two words, it's well balanced. <laughs>